In this video we are going to talk about top 10 tractors of all time. So before starting this video please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. To make work on fields easier, the farmer must have a tractor. The tractor is considered the most important piece of equipment in agriculture. A tractor, combine harvester, and other machines that make field work easier are the most expensive equipment a farm owns. It is important, therefore, that the tractor is of exceptional quality so that it can last for years and to justify its value. When buying a tractor, pay attention to its engine, the electronics that come with it, its capabilities, and even the design. Also, all tractors can be used in agriculture, but some tractors specialize to work in hills and mountains, some for orchards, and some for a third area. If you are thinking of buying a tractor or you are simply interested in which ones are the best, we bring you the top 10 tractors of all time. Let's start! Number 10, Alice Chalmers Model WC. During the Great Depression, the Alice Chalmers Model WC tractor was seen as an affordable and viable option for farmers as the prices varied from $785 to $960 depending on any extra features. Alice Chalmers designed the WC after the Model W was modified to make it better for cultivating. Alice Clammers had introduced the use of rubber tires to agriculture in 1932 and by building on that success, the Model WC became the best-selling tractor Alice Chalmers ever manufactured. About 178,000 WC tractors were manufactured between 1934 and 1938. It came equipped with a 201 cubic inch inline four engine, capable of running on gasoline, alcohol, and kerosene. Some of the configurations allowed for all steel wheels, all rubber tires, or rubber in the front, and steel in the back. In 1939 Alice Chamas made electric starters and light standard equipment on the tractors, Number 9, Ford NAA Golden Jubilee. Ford introduced the NAA Golden Jubilee in 1953 as a replacement for the N Series tractors and to mark Ford's 50th anniversary, which was shown on a badge on the nose of the hood. The Golden Jubilee was 4 inches longer, 4 inches higher, and 100 pounds heavier, making the tractor weigh in around 2,840 pounds. With its 134 cubic inch engine capable of 32 HP and 4 speed transmission. The Ford NAA Golden Jubilee came with a priced ag around $1,500 in 1954. A total of 128.965 Golden Jubilee tractors were built in 1953 before bringing the tractor back in 1954. Number 8, Alice Chama's Model WD-45. After Alice Chama's acquired Buddha, they put the 6BD230 engine into the WD-45, making the tractor available with a diesel engine, the most powerful tractor for its size between 1953 and 1957, and considered one of the most important tractors built by Alice Chama's. The company manufactured 90,382 of the WD-45, with most of those being configured figured for a gasoline engine. The price for the WD-45 row crop tractors was around $2,400 in 1956. Number 7, Farmel Model H. International Harvester manufactured the Farmel Model H as the row crop version of the MC Cormac Deering W4. Between 1939 and 1953, about 391,000 Model H's were built at a price tag of around $2,000. The tractor was available in both gas and distillate configurations and capable of speeds up to 27 miles per hour. It was meant for farms about 160 acres in size and capable of cultivating nearly 35 acres per day. Number 6, Massey Ferguson 399. Massey Ferguson released the 399 tractor in 1987 and it became the most powerful of all the 300 series tractors they released. It was powered by a 97 horsepower engine at the outset and throughout its development was increased to 104 HP and finally 125 to 130 HP from 1994 to 1996. Massey Ferguson stopped producing the 399 in 1997 at a time when the tractor was selling for $37,800. After they launched the 4200 series, the 399 was replaced by the 4270. 
Number 5. John Deere Model A The Model A replaced the GP and became John Deere's first true row crop tractor. It was produced between 1934 and 1952 solely to compete with the Farmall tractors. The Model A saw many changes along the way including in 1940 when the engine was increased from 309 to 321 cubic inches and in 1941 when the transmission went from 4 forward speeds to 6. John Deere's Model A tractor was also the company Company's first to come straight from the factory with rubber tires. John Deere built a total of 300,000 Model A tractors and they sold for about $2,400 in 1952. Number 4. Farmal Model M International Harvesters Farmal Model M tractors were the Raukrop versions of the MC Cormac Deering W6. They were manufactured from 1939 to 1954 and in 1952 had a price tag of about $2,400. The M series of tractors came in various configurations including the MD, the company's first diesel tractor. The tractor had to be started with gasoline and slowly switched to diesel after warming up the entire engine. It also came in the ND vegetable version with high clearance. Between 1939 and 1954, International Harvester manufactured 270,140 Model M tractors. Number 3. John Deere Model B John Deere produced the Model B tractor for route crop farmers who didn't need a tractor as large as the Model A. The Model B was manufactured for nearly 20 years and can be broken into three different categories. The original, which was built until 1938, the early styled version, which came into production in 1939, and the late styled versions that were available to the public starting in 1947. Number 2. Ford Model A10 Ford began producing the A10 tractor in 1947 and by the time production of the tractor had stopped, they built 524,000 of the machines, selling for around $1,404 each. The tractor came equipped with a 4-speed transmission and a position control setting for the hydraulics. The tractor enjoyed success until 1953 when Ford replaced it with Golden Jubilee, known as the Ford NAA. Number 1. John Deere Model 4020 John Deere's Model 4020 was made to replace the Model 4010. The 4020 came with a six-cylinder engine, capable of 96 horsepower, and their synchro rain transmission. It was standard in the 4020s and allowed users to operate at eight forward speeds and two reverse speeds. Between 1963 and 1972, over 184,000 tractors were sold, selling for about $10,345 each. The Model 4020 was the most popular tractor of its time and was eventually replaced by the 4230 in 1972. So this is our today's video. If you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel or hit the bell icon. We will meet again with another interesting topic till then stay safe and stay happy.